Hello and welcome. Next I like to show you that how to replace this Toyota Corolla's coolant liquid and then add in there those high quality Toyota Corolla original coolant liquid what last those at least two years. And how to do that. And then we continue. Okay, and then when we are planning to replace those uh, coolant liquids, first step is to lift up this car body using some crane or hoist, or then we can use also those jack jacks that we can lift this car body something like 40 centimeters or one and a half foot foot higher that we can gravel in below of this area and then we continue okay and then when we are planning to replace those coolant liquid we we need to take those uh, plastic panel panels away that we can see this radiator and dry out bolt and next i continue okay and then when we are replacing this coolant liquid we need to dry out this old coolant and there is two bolts what we need to open and first one is this uh, this radiator coolant bolt what location is in here in that place and then there is second uh, engine block coolant dry out bolt in there and I start that my job that that I open that radiators coolant coolant run out bolt first and let's go to look that closer okay and there we can see this radiator what is in in here and just in here that bolt in here this is this dry out bolt what I what I need to open next so that I I rotate that in that rotation and let's look that closer. Okay, and there is this dry out bolt. And I, I take my hand in here and then I open that in this way. I rotate that. I need to take some canister in here that, that those my coolants don't go to ground and there is this my, my this gap and, and now now this cooler start to dry out and now it we need to only can then okay now this coolant is coming quite slowly and then when I we need to go to open this radiators cap and then this coolant goes faster and then when we look at where they are going they are going to that my canister and please always insert this coolant in canister because this coolant liquid is very harmful to ground and environment and then we continue Okay, and now those old coolants, they are drying out to that my canister. And next, when I open that bonnet, we, we, can, we, can, we can take this radiator cap hat away. And then this coolant liquid goes out even faster. And and when we look that where is this this coolant this radiator cap hat it is in here that cap and then when we look compare that what happens then I open that now there is lining only a little bit that but what happens then when I open that cap Now the coolant comes to it starts to come very fast, like five times faster. 
And then we need to need to wait something like five to ten minutes that all those coolants are away. And then we next step is to open open this engine block run out bolt also because there is this coolant too. And we continue soon. Okay, and then when I have drawn out these radiators, coolant, next I need to also open this engine block coolant bolt. What location is just in there and let's go to look that closer. Okay, and its location is just in near of this, this uh, oil filter and I take 14 millimeter socket and I open that bolt next and here is my socket and I insert that in in this this place in there now it's in my right place and, and then I open that and then when this is this is open here comes this final final coolant away in that that place that this bolt let's look that bolt comes and okay and then when I have grind out all of these uh, old coolants and there is no any more this this uh, this old coolant coming out. Then we need to rotate that drain out bolt in this radiator uh, like close, and we fasten and tighten that using our hands. Remember, no any tools like tongs, only in hands because this is plastic. If we fasten that too much. Then there is risk that this plastic run, run out bolt becomes becomes bad and then a little bit closer you to what it looks like and it is in here. Okay now it's it's tapped and it's closed and then we have also this this engine block engine block run out bolt and let's look that next closer because we should close that too. Okay, and this socket side was this uh, 14 millimeter what fits 1 4 millimeter and we can insert that in nicely in that side. In that side this tool goes nicely in in there in that way. And now now it's like 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 right, right position. And there is this friends and in its upper area. Now this friends is in in right position. And then we only need to fasten that bolt well. And this this rotation is now that we fasten that in this this way. Now it's like clockwise. It's clockwise then when when we fasten that drain out bolt. Okay, and then when this is good, we take that tool away and we continue. Okay, and then when I have tapped and closed those both coolant drain out bolts in this radiator in here and also in this engine block area, then I need to insert this important plastic engine pillow area plates back. And there is now two of these are open in that side and also in this side. I need to insert this back. And there was this idea that I, I need those my 10 millimeter socket. And it is here. And it is in here. And then there was those four small special bolts in this plastic area and when I start to insert that I insert these bolts back 
and then we can continue after that job. Okay, and now I have installed back these two plastic panels and I have one screw left and there is this one the vinyl screw what becomes in here there is my tool and I insert that in here and then I insert this tool in there and then only put up the rotation and and this final final screw is is there fine okay and then we check that everything is fastened and tightened and then we can drop drop down actually lift down this engine body and we can we can start to add this coolant liquid next okay and, and then when we have we have now in this final step that we need to add in here this coolant in this our coolant system and especially this radiator area we need good quality coolant liquids and I have in here two of those Toyota's original coolants in here I have this green and then this red and let's look those lo closer next okay and here I have two originals high quality Toyota Toyota's coolant liquids and there is green green uh, coolant and then is in red and there was there is situation that many Toyota dealership they always add the same color coolant to your car and my car what we had in there before but now I heard that Toyota has has uh, gave this uh, permission that we can use uh, uh, this red red coolant and if if we replace that old red away then we can start this green also or either way that we can re we can replace this coolant color but no we can't mix those if we like to use green only green coolant it is okay or then if we like to use only green uh, this red coolant we can use that but but no no any mixtures and this that means that that next when I am planning to add that that uh, green coolant I will show that what it looks like I have here small plastic cap and and actually I like to show both of those those uh, coolants and I can use both of those excellent coolants to my car and there is now thing that that both of these coolants they last two years there is my text or 25,000 miles or 40,000 kilometers and then I need to replace these uh, coolants again and both of those coolants they are pre-mixed and I can get that, that pre-mixed means that they are ready to use we don't, I don't need to add any water or any other stuff and, and they are ready to use and also both of these coolants include and there is inside this Toyota special long life this uh, this uh, particle and compound what, what is only used in Toyota's those coolants and it gives this best possible this uh, protection in this cooling system against corrosion and rusty things and so on and, and when we use these original coolants then our, Toyo our Toyota's cooling system can last this 20 years without any issues this is a target Okay, and then I will show that what looks this this first this green green coolant and and I open this security gap so that so that I press that down and rotate it in this way and in the other way it opens easily and then we look that what kind of cool stuff this is and it is it 
this really, really nice red color. It's like blood, similar look. Red color, and I can use that coolant in this my Toyota Corolla or then this green. Now I insert this, this stuff in here at the back because I like to use this green. And then remember that this coolant liquids, they are really harmful, they are poison, do not drink or touch or smell those, they are bad, extremely dangerous. And then we look at my red, green, I am planning to add the green next. Let's look at the green color, and it looks also green. And then important thing, do not mix these Toyota's colors to some other coolant like in that one. This I have purchased that tank canister in those supermarkets and this, this is not ready to use and this is also coolant liquid. What quality, quality is not the same and it is not the same stuff even that they, this looks something like green and there we have this green Toyota's original because that coolant is much much better because there is the special Toyota's co compound and liquid inside in that it was something anti-corrosion stuff what there is inside okay and then when I have this green I can add that my my coolant in that part this part is this radiator's cap, and there when I open that, I, I check that what is their situation, and it, it looks like empty. And now I have already added there this coolant, because it takes something like 5 to 10 minutes add this coolant in here, because this radiator is so so big and then this coolant moves through these pipes to inside this engine block and and I need to add in that that grind hole something like four and a half gallons that like five quarters or five liters actually five that kind of canisters to bottles in that hole in this way but I insert that my canister in here and carefully I grind in there this liquid so much that it is in that level like this now and then when I have I have added that that my coolant in that level but we can see that it is full, then I need to also check and add coolant in, in that reserve tank, what is in here, and in that area there must there is text that full line in here, and, and we need to look in that area that how much there is that. We can see that okay, I need to add in there this coolant, and here I have this coolant, and I can actually I can use that that my can canister and then I add this coolant carefully in that way and I need to add that coolant so much that it is in this full line level in here and then then when we have made that that added in that radiator area about five five quarters or five little five liters this this um, coolant liquid this pre-mixed pre -mixed, what gives two years coolant coolant this uh, replace time then we need to do next important thing we insert that part in back in here in this way and then that hat it must be open in this way 
And then we need to start this car's engine and we need to of course do that job in outside. Do that in outside because we have those X ex exhaust gases. And and we need to hot warm up this engine like in normal warm temperature. And this takes time like 30 minutes when this engine is is enough warm and hot and then all time we need to look that area and we need to add if this goes like empty we need to all time add this coolant in here in that that area and after that when when uh, this uh, engine is like like hot and actually it is not too hot it's it's means that in this temperature couch in inside in this cabin area it means that now this uh, temperature is like middle like a normal area then we can shut down and stop the engine and we can insert finally this radiator cap back but all time we need to add in here this this coolant liquid and and motor must run 30 minutes in outside no even no ever in garage because it is really dangerous uh, we we go to outside and then we add this coolant and final step is that we we close that cap but but next will I will show that how this engine runs and finally we we can finish that job. Okay, and then we continue. Okay, now engine is running and then we need to look that that coolant situation that there must be all time in that that level of this coolant and we need to wait 30 minutes that motor starts to run and actually motor becomes hot and in outside and then when we have run that 30 minutes we can stop and close this radiator cap but next we keep that engine running 30 minutes and we check that uh, coolant amount that, that if it becomes lower we need to add in here the coolant and sometimes we can little bit give turns to our engine like that because then this radiator goes lower uh, this uh, radiator's coolant moves faster in every place okay and we continue too okay and now when I have I have run that engine 30 minutes and inside this dashboard Temperature couch is like middle, not in too hot and not in low. Temperature is like normal. Then I can check that in final step that is there enough this coolant in here. And it seems that there's enough. And then I can take this my radiator cap and insert that in back in here. And it goes only in one way, in Toyota way. And then when I rotate now I check that it is faster. This coolant replace is done and everything is fine and then of course I need to check that is here enough this coolant. Yes it looks also good and everything is fine. Okay and this was this information and thank you for watching and have a nice day to you.